Hey everyone, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. And as you can tell from the title, this week I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me. Which is weird because I don't typically do stuff like this on my channel. You know, I'm not, you know, very makeuply talented. I don't do a lot of that kind of stuff. The only ever time I've done like makeup on camera has been when I did my everyday makeup routine. And that was back in March, I think. And you know, honestly, I've been wanting to do one of these for a while because I just think they look like a lot of fun. And even if you guys, you know, don't care about makeup, we can, we can chat. And also, I've just been really busy. This past week especially has been super busy. Like everything in my life is kind of starting up again and summer is coming to an end sh shortly. It's coming to an end in a few weeks. And so just like a lot's been going on in my life. I've been very busy recently. It's been a good kind of busy, but I just feel like I kind of want to just this week sit down and just talk to you guys, kind of give you some life updates on what's been happening in my life. A lot of new things have been happening and I just kind of wanted to sit down and chat this week, just do my makeup and I just thought it'd be a really fun, relaxing video. Also, if you guys end up liking this, maybe I'll try to do these like every few months or something. Also, I apologize if the lighting is not the best. I realize, you know, my window's behind me. I do have my studio lights in front of me, but it was really hard to find a spot in my room where I could set everything out and still have the lighting be sort of okay. So if you're here for the makeup, it might not look that great because of the lighting, but you know what? I'm not makeuply talented, so you really shouldn't be here for the makeup. But yeah, so I don't really know what I'm going to talk about. I have a few topics in mind, but you know, we'll see what happens. Let's just jump right into it. So I'm also, you know, not used, I'm used to used usually doing my makeup in the bathroom, but I'm just going to use my mirror. This is what we did last time. It was sort of a train wreck, but you know, we're just going to try it again. Anyway, I'm just going to be moisturizing my face with this hand cream. Am I supposed to still say like what I'm doing? I don't know, but I'm just gonna moisturize my face. My face has been like so weird recently. It's been like like dry in some spots and like really oily in the other, which has kind of always been like my face. Also, I'm sweating. It's so hot in my room. <laughs> but anyways, guys, um, also what am I getting ready for, you ask? <laughs> Honestly, work. <laughs> yeah, so I'm the only thing I'm doing today is literally going to work. Like, that is what I'm getting ready for, which is something I'd like to talk about. So. I got a job, <laughs> which I honestly wanted to get a job this summer so badly. Like, that was my main goal, was this summer I was going to get a job. Um, because as some of you guys might know, I make no money off YouTube. I don't make any money from ads or anything um, because I'm under 18 and if I were going to make money, I would need to have my parents make an account and I don't get enough views where I'd be making literally anything. Um, like I did make money at one point on YouTube and it was literally like two cents a video so like, it was like there's no point so you know I really I really wanted a job I really needed a job for you know concerts and just to have spending money I did have an allowance I got $20 a month which is nice I totally appreciated that but I really wanted to get a job because you know I can drive now and I just wanted to get a job this summer that was like my main goal and I actually started applying to places and like going out and searching around April and I applied over the course of like April to June, early June, I applied to 20 places at least, I think. Since it's my first job, like it's really hard to get a first job because no one wants to hire you if you haven't had any experience. The only thing I'd done and that I got to put on like my resume was babysitting and then like YouTube. So that was kind of an issue. It was hard for me to get a first job because of that and like I didn't even get any like calls for a lot of places like no places called me one place emailed me and that was to be, be like you're denied but like no places were calling me I was really honestly it got to a point where I didn't think I was gonna have a job this summer which yeah, that wouldn't have been the end of the world but I, I really wanted to make some money this summer that was like a big goal of mine was to get a job and Summer had begun, um, probably like mid-June, or well like the first week of June, and I hadn't had a job yet, and my, my summer had basically begun, and I was like, crap. I was still applying to places, but nobody was hiring me, and it was, it was really frustrating and really annoying, because I was like, I'm, I really, and I'm not picky, I wasn't picky about the job. I was like, literally, I don't care, as long as it's like somewhat nearby, and it like, I can do it, you know what I mean? Like, I really, I, I applied like everywhere, that you didn't have to be over 18, obviously, I applied to. And that was another thing that also made me not able to apply to a lot of places I wanted to because you had to be 18. Like, I really wanted to apply to Build-A-Bear and you have to be 18. 
because I love stuffed animals. You guys can like see the stuffed animals behind me. Like I love stuffed animals. I'm a child. Anyways, so I got to the point where it was like first week of June. I had applied like to every place I really could. Like I applied like every place around me that I could possibly apply to. And I think it was second week of June. I finally get a call somewhere and it's from a place and they're like, hey, we want you to come in for an interview. And I was like freaking out because I hadn't, I hadn't gotten any call. I never had an interview before. This was my first time a place had called to even give me like the opportunity. You know, it's not like they were giving me the job, but they told me, you know, you can come in for an interview. And I was like, hell to the yes. So I think that, yeah, that was like second week of June. I went in for the interview and I was like nervous, but it was at a place where Everyone in there is super, super cool. And I was like, you know what, I think I think I can do this. I'm just gonna be myself. And I was, and I think I kinda, I kinda charmed them. They were asking me like stories and kinda like about, you know, like my life and stuff like that. And like my school life, stuff like that. Just gotta moisturize my lips. And anyway, the interview went well. Fast forward probably like a day or two later, I think it was like that weekend, I think my interview was on a Thursday and then like that Saturday or Sunday they finally called me and the manager was like, you got the job and I was freaking out. I was like, I'm so blessed because it was actually at a place that I'm really happy and that place is Journeys. I worked at Journeys, the shoe store. Some people, some of my friends, like people in my class didn't even know what Journeys was. I was like, okay, you probably like have heard of it. How have you not heard of it at least? But yes, it's a shoe store. Um, and like a clothing store, but it's mostly shoes that we sell like Converse, Vans, those are like the two big ones. We sell like Doc Martens, Adidas, New Balance, Pumas. There's honestly so many. I feel like I'm probably forgetting a ton. There's a lot. We sell Uggs and then we sell like shirts and like hats and socks. Um, but yeah, so I was just really excited. I thought this, you know, this is a really fun job. Anyways, it's a job that I really love everyone who works there. Everyone's either like my age, 17, or most people are in like their mid 20s. And so I thought that'd be like a really great, you know, group. It's a really great place. And so in my mall, there's a bunch of journeys. There's actually three of them in my mall. Um, oh, my hands are shaking. <laughs> there's like three journeys that are in my mall. Um, there's the big journeys, which is just like, the normal one and then there's the kids journeys and then there's the underground journeys which is the one that I work at I work at the underground one and when people ask like what's the difference I pretty much just say it's a little bit more urban than the normal journeys and I really like it I like it mostly because it's like a smaller version of the big journeys so we sell a lot of the same stuff it's just a smaller store which I like because there's a, it's a smaller back room, not as much like merchandise that I have to know. You know, like I feel like if I worked at the Big Journeys, I'd be so overwhelmed because <laughs> it's such a big store just compared to like the smaller one. Um, so I'm really happy that I ended up working at Journeys, specifically that they wanted me to go to the underground one. Probably because like I, they saw that I had never worked anywhere before and that was probably, you know, like an easy one. You don't want to throw someone into the Big Journeys. But yeah, I really, really love the job. I think it's super fun. So I've been working there pretty much since the end of June and I really really enjoy it. I think it's a really fun job. I've gotten like pretty good at it I think. I know it's and it's retail too which I originally was like really kind of nervous about because you know I get like anxiety and I get kind of awkward around people and I was like oh I don't really know like how great this job's gonna be for me. I don't know how great I'm gonna be at like talking to strangers. Like I can it's hard for me to talk to like people that I'm acquainted with let alone like just strangers who come into the store, you know? But I actually am so thankful that this is the job that I got because I think it's actually totally helped me be more comfortable talking to people because I'm forced to, like literally you're forced to, as soon as someone comes in the store within 10 seconds, you have to say something to them. There's like all these core values that you learn and stuff. And so it's really, it pushes you, it's pushed me out of my comfort zone to talk to people and like the thing that you're not allowed to do, you cannot ask oh, like, can I help you find anything? Because if they say, no, I'm just looking, game over. <laughs> That's like the thing that like, you cannot have people say, I'm just looking, you have to keep conversation going. So I've been forced to like, bring up, start conversation with people, which is hard for me, but I'm forced to be like, oh, you like your shirt? Or like, I remember around 4th of July, I would ask people like, how was your 4th of July weekend? Like, what did you do? And it's just, you know, it's forced me to like, talk to strangers and you know keep conversations going which is something that i think i needed and something you know with me getting older and being a senior this coming year which is crazy um i need to you know work on my people skills 
and I think that this is totally helping me do that. So I really love the job. I love my boss. I, I love, I'm glad that I'm in the store that I'm in. Everyone in all the stores is super nice, but I just really like the people that I work with. Um, my boss is super nice. Everyone's just really nice and I don't know, I just really love the job. It's super fun. I'm just so thankful that I got it because it's also a super flexible job because another thing is I was scared I was gonna have to quit come school time because now that it's um, pre-season and school is kind of starting up again, I'm only available to now work on the weekends. And I was really, really afraid that, you know, I was gonna have to quit a job because I couldn't work that much. Even though I am part-time, it's like now I'm only gonna be able to work Saturdays, Sundays, and like maybe Friday nights. But the job is super flexible, so I'm gonna be able to keep it throughout this year and then hopefully work there again next summer, you know. Uh, so I'm just super, super lucky and it's on, it was honestly a miracle because I really didn't think I was gonna get a job this summer, let alone one that I would love this much. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with this job. And it's, it's a lot of fun. I get to, you know, sell shoes and sell socks and like push people to buy things. And you really are trying to like, you know, drive sales with every action is like one of the things. And like, I've literally sold people like four shoes at a time, which I'm very proud of. <laughs> so I think it's actually a job that I'm pretty good at and I really, really enjoy it. So that's been a big thing that's been happening recently is I've been working a lot this summer, which has been a lot of fun. Making that cash, I've almost made a thousand dollars this summer, which is crazy. I got a new debit card. Well, I got, it's like my first ever debit card and I opened a new account and I'm just really feeling like an adult and I'm very proud of myself. Now I'm gonna do my eyeliner, which I literally can't do on camera. As we know from the last video, that was a literal train wreck. So you're not gonna be able to see this. Okay, I did the eyeliner. I don't know if you guys can see like what I'm actually doing. Should I be zooming in on my face more? Ooh, <laughs> that lighting. Okay, I can zoom in a little more so you guys can like see me. Maybe I'll even raise this up. This like setup right now is so weird. <laughs> Like, I'm really just not used to this. I'm just gonna keep talking as I, as I adjust the camera because honestly, this is just like the most unprofessional video. Actually, maybe I'll just leave it like that. Whatevs, you can see my face. Ooh, it's so warm in my room. I'm literally, my neck is sweating. This is, this is fun. I'm, I'm great. Anyways, so I've been making money. I made almost $1,000 this summer, which is great. And um, luckily for you guys, hopefully I'm going to spend some of that money and buy a new vlog camera, which is a really big thing that I've been wanting for a while. Ever since I was, I really wanted a, this camera, um, you know, a great DSLR that I can use, but I just really need a new vlog camera. Like you guys have pointed out, and I agree with you, the audio in my vlog camera is so shit. Like it's so crappy. And that's honestly like really the only main reason I really don't like that camera. Like yes, the quality could totally be better, but if the audio wasn't as bad as it is, I wouldn't have this like driving force and driving need to want to get a new camera, a new vlog camera, because that, the audio is awful. Like if I'm doing any kind of like shaking or if I'm like vlogging in the car, it's like, like you can't hear what I'm saying. Um, so I'm trying to save up for the Canon G7X because that's like the one everyone has and I've gone into Best Buy and I've looked at it and it's probably, it's like on Amazon, it's like 530 to 550 bucks. And you know, if I've, I've made about a thousand and I'm, I would be willing to like spend half of that, you know, and buy this slot camera. I think I'd actually be super proud of myself that I've saved up and that I'm gonna buy this camera with my own money. So that is what I'm hoping to do because guys, you've heard it here first. I really wanna do Vlogmas this year. Um, this is kinda tying back into the whole job thing, but I was telling people my job, I was like, if I do Vlogmas, like I'm totally gonna like come into journeys with like with, like with my vlog camera and like you have them say hi, you guys can like see the people I work with because they're they're mom. I love them. But yeah, so that's like something that I really would like. I really wanna get a new vlog camera because I feel like if I don't get a new vlog camera, I'm not gonna wanna do Vlogmas. And being that it's my senior year, I really want to do Vlogmas, especially like during my senior year. I think that'd be so much fun. That's the other thing I kind of want to talk about, guys. I'm going to be a senior in high school this year, which is sort of crazy. Like, I just, like, where did time go? You know what I mean? Like, that's all I have to say. Because especially with YouTube, you know, I've been doing YouTube ever since eighth grade, like just that December, um, in, of eighth grade. I've been doing YouTube ever since then. So I've been on it, you know, my whole high school career. It's just crazy to me that I'm gonna be a senior. And also, I don't know if you guys, some of you guys know this, but the school that I go to currently, the high school, I've been going there since I was three. And, you know, going to a school like that for that long, and now it finally being your last year after like 14 years is so weird to me. And like, I've talked with friends that have gone there for a while as well, and it's like, we all can't believe it. It's it's crazy to all of us that we're gonna, you know, eventually leave this place, 
this one place that we've all known for so long. Same with my hometown as well. I mean, I don't know where I'm going to college yet, obviously. I'm not, I haven't gotten in anywhere. I'm working on applications now. It, this whole thing is so stressful. Um, but just, I would think about that too. Wherever I go, it's not gonna be here. <laughs> like, I already know it's not going to be upstate New York. I'm going to get out of here somehow. Um, which is also kind of crazy to me that I'm gonna leave this, you know, sort of smallish city of Albany, whatever, you know, and I'm gonna go somewhere else. It's just, it's just crazy to me. I'm super excited, don't get me wrong. Like, I feel like there's like half of the people in my class like know where they wanna go or have some idea of what they wanna do and they're like, I can't wait to get out, like I have a plan. And there's the other half that are kinda like, I don't know if I wanna leave or like, I'm kind of unsure. I'm just kinda like putting, like not thinking about it, which I totally understand. You know, if you're scared, you don't wanna think about the future. Like, I feel you. I think I'm just the complete opposite right now. Like, I'm so ready to get out of here, <laughs> which <laughs> sounds bad. Like, I love all my friends. I love the school. It's just like, it's gotten to that point and I'm happy that it has where I, I think I'm ready to leave. And I was always afraid that I might never get to that point because I'm so used to the, my surroundings that's like, why would I want to go somewhere different? I've never, I don't know anything else. So different should scare me, but it's not. Like different is exciting me, which I think is really good. And that's, I feel like kind of when you know that you're ready to move on and start a new chapter of your life, which honestly, I'm talking about this way too early. Like my senior year hasn't even started. I don't even know where I'm like going to college yet. Uh, <laughs> I'm currently, you know, working on applying. I'm working on applications right now, actually, like this summer. And as you guys know, I've been doing all these, you know, college road trip vlogs, which have been super fun, but it's also like hitting home that, you know, this is gonna, this is my last year of high school. And I'm hoping to continue YouTube in college. I think that'd be super, super fun. You know, I know people that have done that, they've continued it. And I would really like to do that. See, this is just like some raw life updates with you guys. If you guys are even interested in my life. If you want me to talk about music, should I talk about music for a little while? I'll talk about music. Um, what have I been listening to? Oh, Neck Deep's new album. I'm not gonna like reveal all my thoughts on that because I wanna do a proper album review of it, but I just started listening to it because as I'm filming this, it came out yesterday. I'm filming this on Saturday. Um, and I've only listened to it through like once, but I really liked it. I was kind of blown away because I wasn't crazy about the singles. I liked Happy Judgment Day, and that was like it. <laughs> um, I mean, where, where what was it? Where do you go when we go? Where do we go when we go? That one, it's catchy, but it's not like, there's not a lot of substance there, but I really enjoyed Happy Judgment Day, and I, I listened to the whole album, and I like the placement of everything. I really like the placement of everything in the album, and I love In Bloom. Ooh, that's like, that just shocked me. Like, that is such a good song. I'm so happy that they're trying new things. I love when bands try new things, and like, get out of their comfort zone. And then when they try new things and those things that end up being like really good, ooh, kill them. But yeah, um, I'm really digging that new album. I'm still listening to Chemical Miracle by Trophy Eyes. <laughs> that still is playing like at least once every other day because I'm still obsessed. I can't not listen to that album anymore. Like I'm literally still so obsessed with that album. I need to stop listening to it because I actually have like concerts coming up and it's like, I should be listening to like, you know, my set lists, but I'm still obsessed with Trophy Eyes, and they're not gonna come here anytime soon. I shouldn't be listening to them, but I'm just really obsessed with them. Although I have been listening to Halsey recently because I'm officially going to see her, guys. It is happening. I'm officially going to see her in concert with Haley, something that was supposed to happen like two years ago that we talked about, two summers ago, and uh, it's actually happening now, guys. So it'll be fun to do it like our senior year because we got into her freshman year, so I think that now going to see her during our senior year will be really cool. We're going to see her in Connecticut, on September 29th, I think. It's that Friday. But I'm really excited to see her live because, you know, I, as a lot of you guys know, like, I've seen her live, but me, like, standing from the outside of the venue, looking through a fence, like, seeing her, you know, her on a screen. So it really wasn't the same thing. I'm excited we ha we're sitting, it's like, not on the floor, but like the section right behind the floor. So it should be good seats. You guys know I'm not crazy about arena shows, but these tickets were still like uber expensive. They're like 120 bucks. So, but it's worth it, because we're gonna see our queen, who I love. I'm very excited to see her. It's gonna be really, really fun. I think it's gonna be a super fun show. But I have that show, which is my next show, which is kind of in a while, like September, well, it's in like a, a month, but I'm really excited for that. And then my dad and I are going to see the Psychedelic Furs, which he's really pumped for. I'm excited for as well. I can't wait to see them. They're, they're pretty, pretty bomb. I'm very like, you know, old, old school, cool band that I'm excited to see. But yeah, so those are like my upcoming shows. 
And then hopefully, I talked about this a lot in last week's vlog, but Amma and I really want to go see Knuckle Puck on their headlining tour. Because our babies are headlining and they have not really done a proper headlining tour in literally forever and they deserve it so much and I'm so excited for their new album. So I am, I really want to go. And like, it's like two and a half hours away is the closest date. But it's on a Saturday and like, I'm hoping, you know, we're seniors, like we could drive. I could drive and we'd get there in one piece. We wouldn't die. Sorry if I got cut off. My, this bleeping that my, like, my camera's beeping that my card was full. <laughs> Which never happens to me. But that just shows how busy I have. I, I have been lately. Like I haven't even been able to like clean out myself. Oh, also, here's another thing I meant to say before. Um, another thing that will benefit you guys. I got a new laptop. <laughs> Which, I don't know how much I've really talked about my laptop troubles. But I've, my old laptop, the one I've been using to, for editing videos, I've had since I was in sixth grade. So like 2011, I think I got it summer of 2011. Yeah, summer of 2011 is when I got my lap, my, I, it was a MacBook Pro. And I've had it literally now, it's been six years. And this thing, probably for the past two years, year and a half, has had so many issues. It's just gotten so old. And I downloaded a lot of stupid stuff onto it when I was in like sixth grade in middle school because I didn't know about, you know, viruses. So this thing has just been on its last legs for a very, very long time. To the point where like the people at the Apple store know me. Like I will come in, I used to come in like every few months and they'd be like, oh, Gwen's back. What's the issue this time? Like they all knew me. And so I've been wanting to get a new laptop for a while. I was hoping this year or next year for college, but my laptop was in such bad shape that I was like, I can't go another school year with this crappy thing. So I finally got a new laptop. I got the 2015 15 inch MacBook Pro, or is it just a MacBook? It might just be a MacBook regular, I don't know. But it's like the Retina one. It's a little skinnier, doesn't have a disk drive. None of them do anymore. Um, but yeah, I'm just so happy. I have like my life back, it feels like. Like it's just so weird to be on a laptop that doesn't, you know, heat up and become nuclear after like 20 minutes and also that just works and like runs fast and I can edit it and like I, I now feel the joy of editing again. Like for the past year I literally like hated editing videos and I feel like that's why you know my creativity in terms of like I don't make skits anymore because I would dread editing them. But that's not going to be the case anymore guys so I'm really hoping to make more creative and like skit videos kind of like I used to because I won't be dreading editing them anymore. I'll actually look forward to like being creative and I eventually would like to buy Final Cut Pro because I'm, I'm really done with iMovie at this point. I want something a little bit, you know, more advanced. But that's just like a really big thing. You guys should be happy because that's just gonna make me like wanna make videos even more now that I can edit them on something that works. So that's really exciting and my new laptop is my baby, my child, I'm gonna take good care of her, and hopefully she will last another six years. <laughs> I got the 15 inch because they said, the guy at the Apple store said that if you, I want to do editing on it, it's better to have 15 inch because it has a faster processing system and all this stuff. So yeah, I'm just very happy that I finally have a new laptop. It's, uh, it's a dream come true. But yeah, that's, that should be exciting for you guys because, you know, now I'll be more inclined to make videos. And that's kind of another thing I wanted to talk about in terms of updates. As you guys know, I've been posting weekly videos practically the whole year, which I'm very proud of myself, because I used, used to only do weekly videos over the summer, and now I've been doing them, like, literally this whole year, which has been great. I really want to try to keep up with these weekly videos during the school year. The school year for me starts in, like, two weeks. I'm just, preseason has begun, which is another reason I've been so busy with volleyball. But I really want to try to continue weekly videos for you guys during the school year. I think that'd be really amazing. And I, you know, in the past I've done like every two weeks, which I think you guys probably don't hate that much, like it's fine, but I would just hate to be going from, you know, these, these weekly videos to two weeks because I just think that'd be such a, I don't know, a drawback for you guys. And I've gained so many subscribers in the past year. Like, we just hit 600, guys. Thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers. That is insane to me. Just because it's been kind of a short period of time. Probably within the past, like, year, you know, we've gained so many. And I really just love all the brand new faces. Like, welcome to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. And so I just really want to continue to make videos throughout the school year. And I think I'll be able to because my workload for senior year is not going to be bad. Everybody else's is going to be death, but luckily mine is like so easy. Everyone's taking like three APs. I'm taking one and I'm only taking five classes, which means I'm going to have like a drop block, like a free period every day. 
which is going to be so nice. I'll be able to get homework done earlier, which I think in turn will, you know, make me not less stressed, which is a goal for this year. Like one of the big goals for my senior year is to just not worry as much and just kind of have fun because it's my last year. Like I just, I'm obviously gonna still work hard. I'm not gonna stop caring, but I, I just wanna have more fun and not be so stressed out all the time, which is kind of a, a good goal for me, something that I need. But I think that with only taking five classes, and most of my classes are like gonna be really fun. Like I'm gonna take advanced film, which I'm super excited for. I took regular last year and I really enjoyed it. So I think that if I balance everything out, I should be able to keep making videos weekly. It's just gonna depend on like, I do extracurriculars outside of school as well. Like volleyball is um, our first trimester and then my second trimester, as some of you guys might know, I do the musical, which was something that made me lack doing videos in like April of last year. I had to um, cut down my videos because of rehearsals all the time. Anyway, so that I think that with my workload this year, I should be able to um, balance out making videos with doing schoolwork. And you know, hey, if there's a week that I, I can't upload, um, I'll tweet about it. Please follow me on Twitter, guys, if you haven't already. I tweet a lot of stuff about like shows, that, you know, upcoming shows I'm going to, and a lot about my video schedule on there. So if there is a week that I know I'm not gonna be able to upload, I will let you guys know on Twitter and I'll tweet about it. And you know, it might happen. If it happens in the future, like, I'm apologizing now. Um, but, you know, I think this year will be a good test to see if I can continue making videos each week. I think that'll be kind of a good test for, like, what's it gonna be like next year in college? Like, stuff like that, you know? So, yeah, that's kind of my life updates in terms of I've been working a lot recently. School's starting up in a few weeks. It's gonna be my senior year, which I think will be a lot, a lot of fun. And it's gotten to the point where you guys kind of have gotten to see, you know, my friends. You guys know, like, some people in my class. And that's why I think doing Vlogmas for my senior year will be super fun, because now you guys kind of recognize these faces, because it's people that I go to shows with, and, you know, it'll it'll just be fun. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys, like, really want me to do Vlogmas. I did vlogs for the holidays uh, freshman year, which was kind of, like, my own spin off of Vlogmas, which... I I didn't like, like I wouldn't do that, I would do Vlogmas probably. I just probably would do it weekly and not daily because I think that'd be um, easier for uploading. But yeah, let me know down below like what your thoughts on that would be and like if you guys really want me to buy this new vlog camera because I totally will. Um, let me know what your guys' thoughts on that. And yeah, what else have I been up to? I'm almost done with my makeup guys, that's the thing. Like my makeup does not usually take me this long. I'm just, yeah, I'm talking. I love talking to you guys. It's a lot of fun giving you guys life updates. Oh, Turnover's new album is coming out, I think, next week, 25th, I think. I am so excited for that. I, I was listening to Peripheral Vision yesterday. It was like a rainy day, and whenever it's a rainy day, I just want to play Turnover because I feel like they just, a really good band, like very good rainy day music, especially that album. And I put it on yesterday, and ooh, I was digging it. If you guys uh, are friends with me on Snapchat, you guys would see that because I posted a little snippet, which by the way, you guys can add me. Username's Gwen Goose. It's always, all this stuff is always down below. But I just love listening to Turnover and I've, I've liked the singles that they've been releasing. Like I've really been digging it. So I'm very, very excited for their new album. A lot of people are putting out new albums like them and Neck Deep just did and the Knuckle Puck and, oh, and then Brand New. Oh my God. I haven't listened to it because it's not on Spotify which, ugh, really annoying, it's on Apple Music, it's on Spotify. I might just try to like, I don't know, it's probably like on Tumblr somewhere, but I've been really meaning to listen to that because, oh, I love Brand New, and I thought they were gonna break up this year. Is that just like, have that, has that just been a rumor? Or are they not breaking up this year? Because I thought they were supposed to. Uh, were they supposed to be breaking up this year? I could have sworn that that was what was happening. So someone, someone let me know, like, if that's still true, because now that they've dropped this new album, I'm like, where's that tour at, though? Cause like, they came here in October of 2016 and I didn't, I didn't go cause I, I didn't have anyone to go with. Like that was literally the only reason. Vama became a fan like a week after the show. I'm not even kidding. She was like obsessed with them and I was like, girl, they were just here. <laughs> so that was honestly my fault for not like introducing her to them. Uh, so I'm really hoping they come back cause a lot of people were like, well, if you haven't seen them, you're not going to be able to because they're going to break up this year. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I, I need to see Jesus Christ live. I need to see like all the devil and God stuff live. Like I, oof. so I'm really hoping that this means that then maybe they'll go on like a farewell tour, which, oh, that'd be great. I would love to see them live. I feel like they're just like a very stereotypical emo band that you just like need to see live. 
because they're just so prominent in the scene. How's my makeup even looking? I feel like it's like slightly awful. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just going to work. I literally just don't care that much. I also look like such an emo, I just look like such emo trash when I go to work because most of the time, if I work Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, we have to wear these special shirts. I'm just wearing my panic shirt now, but I, um, we have to wear like these special shirts that say like staff on the back and they usually have like a shoe brand. Like we had a Vans one, then we had like an Adidas one. Um, but any other day of the week, you can wear whatever you want to work. And I always come in looking like such an emo piece of shit. And then if someone walks in and they have like a panic shirt on, which has happened, I'm like, hey girl, love your shirt. And they're always like, so like, I feel like they're always, I always feel like I always freak them out. They're like, oh, thanks. And I'm like, what's your favorite song? And they, you can tell they do not want to talk to me. Like this girl came in with a 1975 shirt on and I was like, oh, what's your favorite song? Did you happen to go see them in May? And she's like, um, yeah, no, I didn't go. But like, I really like chocolate. And I was like, oh my God, that's such a good song. <laughs> this girl did not want to talk to me. I, I honestly, I scared the customers. I get so excited. Like so one girl came in with an Arctic Monkey shirt. It was like the AM squiggle. And I was like, girl, that's a good album. She's like, I know, right? Like sometimes people want to chat, but you can also tell when they don't. <laughs> Also, I need to tell you guys something also real quick. Uh, something that happened. What am I even looking for? I don't even know. What do I do next? Oh, lips. Okay. What should I wear? Hmm. I'll wear this. Anyways, so I'll end this. I'll end this um, chit chat get ready with me because I'm almost done with my makeup on something that happened a few weeks ago. So there was this group of kids that were probably like 13 years old, these girls, there were like three of them. Three of them, no, there were two of them and there was their mom. And they walk into the store and I think it's like just me on the floor. And I was like, I was like, hey guys, how you doing today? And they, sometimes I say, I say that and people don't see me. So it's like, oh, they're not ignoring me. They just didn't see me, you know? These girls, the dead ass, look me in the eye. Don't say anything. They just look me in the eye, look me up and down and then walk past me. And they don't even walk out of the store. They just keep going into the store, but they just like judge me and then don't acknowledge me. And I was like, um, okay. <laughs> I was like, so how was your day? Like they just didn't respond. They were like, and I'm like, why am I intimidated by eighth graders? Like this shouldn't be a thing. But they were like so dirty and they were all wearing the same thing. They all had on like their little converse and like their matching like tank tops and shorts. And they were like, mm mom i want this i was like you know what go spend your mother's money stop loose staring me up and down and i was like what what is this so that was that's been like the weirdest customer experience so far oh actually another customer experience that was crazy some girl came in with a snake and if you guys don't know that's like my biggest fear is snakes like i'm terrified it was a baby anaconda or no no it was a python it was a baby python first of all who wants a baby python as a pet like i'm not gonna pet shame a baby python and it was wrapped around her arm and she was trying on the shoes like and it was wrapped around her arm and I like I was trying to be polite now I just I just did not want to look at it and I was like okay like trying the shoes then I walked away because I, I could not look at that snake oh my god I was like so terrified also are you allowed to bring snakes into the mall <laughs> I was like mm, pretty sure that's not allowed although people bring dogs in one time this woman came in with a dog in her purse <laughs> I don't know what the rules are but that snake thing was terrifying and honestly the only reason that I didn't ask someone else to take care of them is because I got them to buy two pairs of shoes and plus socks. So it was a good sale, but ooh, that snake. <laughs> like, not today, Satan, not today. I was literally watching, what was I watching? <laughs> I was watching Secret Life of Pets last night. <laughs> it's what I do on a Friday night. And there was an animated snake, an animated snake, and I had to turn it off because I couldn't watch. <laughs> like, I didn't realize how big this fear was till recently, but I'm terrified. I just, I don't trust them. You know what I mean? They're like living noodles and I just don't trust it. <laughs> yeah, you guys are like, wow, she's weirder than I thought, unsubscribe. <laughs> but honestly guys, that's me. And I think I'm pretty much done with my makeup at this point. I hope you guys enjoyed. I don't even know if you could maybe like see what I was doing. I don't know. If you were here for makeup, I apologize. I wasn't really saying anything I did. If you want to go see like the products I use, uh, you can go look at my everyday makeup routine. I'll link it up there. Put a little eye here. But yeah, let me zoom this back out. Alright guys, so that is pretty much the end of this chit chat get ready with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun. I actually really enjoyed filming this. It was very like laid back and chill, which is what I wanted this week. I really just wanted to, you know, sit back and just do my makeup, talk to you guys. And I hope you guys learn more about me and, you know, know what's happening with my life. There's just been a lot going on and I figured that you guys should know, you know. I hope you enjoyed these life updates and these weird stories and 
just information about me. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below if you guys want me to do more Chit Chat Get Ready With Me. It's like maybe once every few months because I did enjoy it. It was a fun video, so let me know what you guys think. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I make new videos every single Sunday. And other than that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!